Hey what's happening game one Sir James coming at you guys with another video and for this video I'm here to give you guys an update as to what's going on here on the channel. I know things have been quite pretty slow for the past few days so I figured it was time to do a channel update and of course since I have a lot of new subscribers you guys can get an idea on pretty much what games I'm going to be covering for the remainder portion of this year. All the typical fun stuff but before we get to that information I do want to provide you guys with some really good news and an idea I had in mind such as a giveaway. So first off, let's go ahead and start with some good news. The good news is my channel has actually reached over 10 million views. That is right, over 10 million views. Pretty crazy, but I'm pretty pleased with that achievement. Uh, fortunately, they're not all subscribers because if that was the case, I'd be doing like some massive, you know, console giveaway, custom PCs and all that. But one day, I would like to get to that point. So one day we'll get there. But in terms of subscribers, we're pretty much more than halfway from e reaching 18,000 subscribers. My goal currently for this year is to try to reach 24,000 subscribers, which hopefully with the help of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, we may reach that goal. Now, I do want to do a giveaway for you guys, so I'm trying to either plan a giveaway towards the end of this year or the beginning of next year and by beginning it'll probably be around January or February if that makes any sense or hopefully that works out because the thing is if I do it and if I wait till December you know you got all the Christmas packages and that's when mail gets hectic but if I wait until early next year like January or February then you know things will be a lot more smoothly so I do want to plan a giveaway for that to kind of celebrate this achievement and of course to give back to you guys as a big thank you as to what I'll give away not exactly sure I'll have to wait and see how things plan out especially until after Christmas Black Friday and all that fun stuff to see what I could find to give back to you guys as a big thank you so let's go ahead and start with uh, September because September is almost here and one of the biggest games I'm really excited for is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Unfortunately I'm not getting the collector's edition because I want the one from Japan that has the life-size bionic arm. Not the mini one that we're getting here in the US but overall the collector's edition looks cool. I'm just going to get the standard copy of the game with the pre-order bonus so uh, I'll be pretty much providing you guys a walkthrough coverage and when the online mode becomes available which I believe they said October for consoles and PC I think they said early next year. I remember doing a news about that um, so I'll be providing you guys content coverage for that but if you guys want to let me know ahead of time what exactly would you like to see from Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain any aspect of the game that you guys want me to go into more detailed information uh, let me know ahead of time so that way when I get my hands on the game I know what to bring to you guys ahead of time so pretty much that you know help me out I help you guys out so uh, like I said Really excited for the game. I know there's a lot of people that are pretty much upset because of Konami and stuff like that. And there's a lot of people that are like, you know what, I'm not going to get Metal Gear Solid 5 because of Konami. You know, they're not going to get my money. But, you know, you got to think of it this way. Don't think about Konami. Think about Kojima, the man behind the game. This is his final Metal Gear game. This is the final conclusion in the story, which he stated over and over again. He's been working on this project real hard. So for those of you who are not going to get the game because of Konami, Get it for Kojima. That's who you should get it for. But that's pretty much my two cents on the subject. Now, of course, next up is Destiny the Taken King. A lot of people are excited for this expansion. Not DLC, expansion. And um, I know before I said I was going to be getting the Collector's Edition for both the PS4 and the Xbox One, but I pretty much sat down kind of thinking about it. It you know, doesn't really make sense for me to get two of the same exact collector's edition. I mean, true, it would be kind of cool to do like a big epic unboxing, you know, one for each system and stuff like that, even though all the contents are the same, just on two different systems. But um, I decided, you know what, I'm only going to get one of the physical collector's edition, and um, for the other system, I'm just going to buy the expansion, because the expansion alone is like 40 bucks, while the collector's edition is 80 bucks, and of course you get another copy of Destiny, another copy of the two DLCs. The, the thing is, I already have the DLCs for both, so again, so for Destiny the Taken King, I'm just only going to be unboxing one of the physical collector's edition, which will be for the PS4, and then for the Xbox One, I'm just going to buy the digital expansion, and that way I could save myself 40 bucks and put that towards something else, which I am planning for October. And of course, do keep in mind that whatever games I'm listing in this video, uh, anything could change because I don't know what assignments that I may get from Gamer Fusion. 
And for those of you who are new to my channel, you probably noticed the Gamer Fusion intro on pretty much every single video from now. Uh, Gamer Fusion is the partnership program I'm in. I've been with them for quite a few years now. I received all kinds of goodies like a custom belt PC signed by the CEO. I received a free Xbox One, free PlayStation 4, Vita, you named it, and I don't know, hundreds of games by now. So uh, as things to them, I'm also able to provide you guys more coverage and from a various amount of games. So uh, I'm hoping because right now uh, Microsoft is lacking in Connect games, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are happy because there's no Connect games, but that's one of the things I got started on my channel. So hopefully next year because there's Project Morpheus from Sony. So fingers crossed about that one. But anyways, back on subject. Um, so like once again, um, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Destiny of the Taken King, and whatever else I may get from Gamer Fusion during that month. For the month of October, there's quite a few games coming out, but there is a collector's edition I'm going to try to aim for. I'm probably going to, I want to check tomorrow to see if I can still pre-order it, because I know they did state it was very limited, which is the Tales of Zeteria. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. There's a collector's edition for it for about $130. I have played a couple of the Tales games in the past, which is Tales of Zelia 1 and Tales of Zelia 2. So for this one, this one looks really good based on the gameplay visual aspect. I was like, hey, this looks cool. The collector's edition is $130. And I was looking over the contents. I was like, you know what? This is a really good deal because you get a lot of stuff in it comes with a blu-ray i don't know if it's like an extremely short film or if it's like an hour and a half long if it's an hour and a half long excellent it comes with these cute little uh, chibi figurines which can for the price point at least from what i looked up can range from anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars per figure already good that's already over a hundred dollars just on the figures and the game alone you get like these eight bits uh keychains for three of the uh, characters soundtrack collectible art book all that fun stuff so uh, i'm pretty much going to be aiming for that again i won't know if i could pre-order it still because i'm going to have to check tomorrow but if i can then you guys know what to look forward to and of course we have halo 5 assassin's creed syndicate so those are the other games that you guys can look forward to on my channel next up for the month of november there's quite a few games coming out so one is call of duty black ops 3 mainly for zombies because you guys know I love the zombies in the Black Ops game and of course the Black Ops series is one of my personal favorites so far I'm enjoying the beta though I still wish it was kind of back to like the old days of Call of Duty now all of these futuristic stuff I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of the whole futuristic stuff when it comes to first person shooters go back to like the world war and all that fun stuff like World at War I would like to see another one like that a World at War 2 again that's just my opinion but that's what I'll be covering. Uh, of course, we have Star Wars Battlefront, which I'll be picking up. Uh, and let's see, oh yeah, Tomb Raider comes out. And I'm trying to remember what else. There's probably some other games I'm currently missing because there's like a huge library of games. But that's just kind of get you know, pretty much to give you guys an idea of games that I'll be covering here on the channel. Of course, Black Friday, I'll be doing uh, pretty much my Black Friday guide videos. Then you guys know uh, exactly what places are having any of the good electronics and video game deals just like I do each and every year so that way you guys know what to look forward to for those days and of course you know whatever I pick up myself um, there's a few games I'm looking into uh, hopefully you'll want so but again we'll have to wait until that time comes and um that's pretty much relatively it my mind's kind of slipping away because it's like past midnight so I'm like slowly falling asleep here but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video again you guys pretty much have an idea right now what you guys could expect here on the channel again whatever extra games i get courtesy of gamer fusion but until then i am sir james from gamerfusion.com like i said destiny of the taken king collector's edition unboxing tales of zeteria that's if i'm able to pre-order tomorrow you guys could expect that for october and then whatever else from there but until then I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.